Amanda here from Create with Scrimpy Mummy. Thank you so much for joining me. So I'm here today to share my trick or treat folio project. Um, I have used my new um, Halloween collection, which is called Trick or Treat. I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. So I'm going to show you the fabulous folio and then I'm going to tell you um, how you can make it. So if you stay to the end, I'll tell you how you can make this project yourself. Okay, so it's a chipboard. It's an 8 by 8 Well, it's just shy of 8 by 8 Okay, beautiful papers on the front here. I've kept it really simple. So, you know, if we have 3D um, embellishments, they can get sometimes get beat up. This won't. We've got the uh, paper wrapped around the spine like so. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, and it opens like so. Now, these papers are just so fun. I have printed them on matte photo quality paper, which makes the colours really pop. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled how it's how it's turned out. So let me unpack it and share it with you. We've got just beautifulness everywhere. So everything in here is in my trick or treat collection. Every single thing. I've not used any other images, okay, or papers or anything. Or oh, the only other thing I've used is black cardstock and glue. <laughs> so here's some of the tags that I created I added the bows and I have backed them on black cardstock and then fussy cut around them so you could put small photos on there we've got two by twos for example you could put little photos or you could use it for journaling they're absolutely stunning I love them now these do act as an extra closure for this section however I have magnetized it now you've got a four by four photo mat there straight on added on and then we've got these lovely words and the fussy cuts from the collection now i've only done mine out of um, heavyweight paper if you do them in cardstock then it will help keep this closed even more but i've actually magnetized mine so i have got magnets there as well okay so then these sections open and if i lift it down you've got four by four photo mats there so that's on both sides. Then we come down to this gorgeousness. So you've got the pocket here. You can put extra things in the pocket. Okay. And the pocket comes down. And we've got 4x4 four four photo mats. And I've added some of the words from the collection. And I've just glued them along the top. So that you can access to add your photos. And these are some little journaling cards that are in the collection. Just to demonstrate and so they just slip in like that that one says trick or treat that one says halloween we've got the googly eyes again you can see how easy it is to just access access that if you just just put a small line of glue along the embellishments and took them outside the actual frame of the photo okay then we come to this middle section all right and we've got um this lovely pocket here which has got a window as you can see there we've got acetate there it's actually um thin acetate it's actually transparency sheet okay it's a little bit thinner than your traditional um acetate um i've cut a pocket angled you know a, a cut out pocket and then i've lined it with one of the background pieces and added some embellishments there fussy cuts and the ghost paper in the back okay so in there i've got a a five by four photo mat and i liked that size of photo mat because it meant i can just still see the papers behind it will fit a six by four photo but not including the mat okay but you can always just you we can crop photos to whatever size we want these days this is magnetized it flips open you've got a full six by four photo on the back okay then you've got this lovely flap here which you can add more of these little kind of two by two photos there like so you could okay i'll just have it as the beautiful paper and then that flips open and we've got a little pocket here all right and this fits in um out these are three by fours okay you could fit a couple in there it's quite a nice size pocket a couple of three by fours in there all right and then at the back here you've got this lovely large pocket which will fit five by sevens in all right or you've got your six by fours 
and I've cut the paper there so that the um, little ghost girl there is cut out of the back of there okay so if you just lift her up and peek behind you can see where I've cut her out but by the time you've laid her up and put the paper in you can't see it and so that just adds an extra fun element there so you can add your photos in there okay it will hold at least two six by fours or your five by sevens beautiful okay so then that closes and that closes and we move across and we've got a mirror image but it's going the other direction so this pocket is this way and this pocket is this way okay so again you can put in your um five by seven in there okay look at that lovely paper with the little ghosties and the boo word and we've got the little witch and the little vampire they're absolutely stunning and that flips open and again we've got this lovely paper here <coughs> and again you can put the little two by two photo there if you so desired okay or you can just leave it and enjoy the paper open that six by four there room there for more of the photo mats okay Put some more in to show you and then here again this beautiful paper cut down so that it runs through the whole pocket and again um, you could put five by sevens or your six by fours in there i don't think those are six by four i think these are six by four <laughs> so i've done it uh, you know and left the photo mats out to start with so you can see that lovely paper it's absolutely beautiful just look at it it's stunning okay it's stunning Right, so then that flips in and that clicks, okay? So leaving those top flaps open, and we're not done because these also open, okay? So let me show you that side first. Beautiful angled pocket, side pocket, and then this side is the same. Beautiful angled pocket, side pocket, making good use of the beautiful, beautiful papers in the collection. So here again, you've got your, let me just get my photo mats in size order because I'm getting confused here between my six by fours and my, so again, lots of room for photo mats in there, lots of room there, okay, and then here I've shown you how you can, I'm getting stuck on my background paper, hold on a minute, <laughs> how you can get your plain photo mats and decorate them. So I've just added one of the border strips from the collection there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful background paper. Absolutely stunning. All of these papers are beautiful. Very, very easy to use. Everything just goes lovely. I wanted it kind of like a big, long spread layout. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me, I couldn't stop that then. And then here, again, I've used some of the word um, borders that I did. Just adds a bit more interest to those um, photo mats. And then in this side here, again, I've used uh, another one of the beautiful papers. And we've got a photo mat there and it's backed. And here's another idea with your photo mats. In the collection, we've got double-sided embellishments. So you cut them out, you glue them back to back, and then you can slide them on the side of your photo mats. They can be removable, okay? Or once you've added your photo, you can opt to glue that down if you so desire. Okay, so that goes in there like so. So I just wish my camera would film the whole thing. It's absolutely stunning. It, the papers are just beautiful. They're so pretty and so vibrant. Look at these lovely girls and they're all trick-or-treating. The paper tells you, tells you, it's not just decorative paper, it tells you a story. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so they can go in there like so. So then these two fold in, okay? And then you've obviously got all of these interactive bits. And then the bottom lifts up and this lifts down i've got mine on magnets but i've also got the little decoration as well okay and then your tags go back in and it is all held lovely nothing's flapping about okay nothing's flapping about nothing is getting in your way and it's absolutely stunning and that will make for a lovely lovely memory keeping folio 
for Halloween. How fun would that be with pictures of your grandchildren or indeed your children in, or indeed maybe you like dressing up for Halloween. Maybe it's a big deal for you. Even if it isn't a big deal for you, what a cute project to just make and just have on your shelf and look at because it is so beautiful. So the papers are available to purchase in my Kofi shop. Okay, it's a 21 page collection. Okay, um, it's available to purchase, and it is uh, there is also a, a free option for those people who are my Kofi members. Now, to make this, I'm going to do um, online tutorials here on YouTube. Okay, it'll probably be if I can fit it all in one go, I will, otherwise, it will be over two. And anybody can follow along, get the ideas and inspiration. There will be a cutting guide with all of my sizes and my measurements for this project. And that is a purchase, which is also available on my ko -fi. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description box below and you can purchase that and purchase the papers. If you are my, one of my ko -fi members, my ko -fi members pay £3 a month. You will get the cutting guide free. They've already had these papers free as well as their normal monthly collection. They've had these free. They're going to get the cutting guide free. And Kofi members, I will add your cutting guide to the file on Kofi of your papers. Because you can go and you can re-download that as many times as you want. Okay, because you're not paying for it. It's free. So all you need to do is go back to the download for these papers. If you're a Kofi member, look at the download list and I will have added the cutting guide there for you. Okay, non-members, if you go on my shop, there will be a, a clear, clear indication of how you can purchase it. Um, prices do come up in GBP, but Kofi, you know, whether you use PayPal or Stripe, your payment method will automatically transfer that to your currency, just the same as anywhere else. So I hope you like that and um, you can hop along and grab the papers, grab the cutting guide and get ready for the tutorials. They will follow. Today is Thursday the tutorials will be up on youtube no later than saturday yes saturday <laughs> i'm just thinking i've got my granddaughter i've got this to do i've got i will be do, filming the tutorials today and they will be up either friday or saturday okay um so that you will be able to get on and make this over the weekend it comes together really quickly it's not difficult. The beauty is in the papers. So I hope you'll join me for that online class and I will see you very soon. How absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I will be making more of these for absolute sure. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.